Hey, it's Joseph for Zenny62. So as you know, we've always talked about this on Zenny62 with regards to racism uh, in America. And this incident that I'm going to talk about isn't any different. Um, there was an incident earlier today in San Diego County where a high school team that was predominantly Latino, Orange Glen High School in San Diego County, was defeated by Coronado High School. Now, Coronado High School and that whole district, they're very well-to-do, uh, predominantly white basketball team. Um, what they proceeded to do was to throw tortillas at the predominantly Latino high school basketball team. Now, what this tells you is that this whole embolden after the 2016 election has filtered down into elementary and high school. We know the results of the 2016 election sparked a movement that was long coming in the Black Lives Matter movement. Because of that, we also have these people who wear their racism as a as an honorable badge, you know, also targeting Asian Americans and likewise there's also been a long history uh with racism towards latinos uh especially in california and around the country as well as as we all know the cursed racism towards anybody of color in this country and so it's unfortunate that this is happening because Kids nowadays can't even enjoy or participate in group activities or sports without somebody. And unfortunately, it seems to always happen uh, with Caucasian people targeting other people of color. Why is that? Is there some insecurity there? Who knows? But like, again, I got to reiterate, ever since the 2016 election, there has been a spike in racism and feeling proud to come out as a racist, uh, as, as though that was a good thing. And um, let me show you the footage and I'll stay here with you to watch it. And here we go. All right, in San Diego County, Coronado High School is apologizing after tortillas were thrown at students from a predominantly Latino school district following a championship basketball game. Action needs to be taken, and I think the action should be that Coronado should forfeit that game. Well, Coronado won the game, and then video showed tortillas being thrown onto the court at their opponent, Orange Glen High School. Coronado apologized to the Orange Glen school community and said it will hold a meeting tomorrow to address the incident. Police identified the man who distributed the tortillas to the game and said he's not a student. Hmm. All right, lots of questions there. Uh so as you can see there, it, it's very unfortunate that this happened. Um, obviously, principals for both schools were very upset, uh, especially the high school from Coronado High School. Now... If you heard the tail end of that, uh, it seemed like the person who gave the Coronado High School basketball players the tortillas to throw at the Latino kids might have been an adult or an older teenager that doesn't even go to school there. So to me, what that tells you is that it was pre-planned. Because, obviously, you're playing basketball, you're sitting on the bench, you're not going to carry a bunch of tortillas with you, you know, on the court. So, obviously, if this narrative turns out that they're trying to diffuse the situation and say, well, really, wasn't the high school kid's fault? I doubt that. Because it had to be a coordinated thing that happened. It was a coordinated event that was done in conjunction with those Coronado high school basketball players that decided that this was an action they were going to take. And think about this action. They actually won the game and they're being sore losers. So obviously there is steep racism in Coronado high school that needs to be addressed and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. 
And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on Zenny62.